Updated March 20, 2019, 19 hours 31 minutes and 54 seconds The Christchurch mass shooting which killed 50 people last Friday has been described by New Zealand police as a well-planned attack by a lone wolf terrorist. Key points Lone wolf terrorists or actors are often a part of a larger ideology. According to analysts, cases of lone wolf terrorist attacks may take ideas and examples from previous similar plots. The spread of extremist ideas are emphasized in internet echo chambers. The issue has again sparked debate within governments and intelligence agencies about the difficulties of detecting and disrupting the plans of potential lone wolves or actors, who are often identified by committing terrorist attacks on their own. Lone Wolf title suggests that they do not belong to any network command structures or external groups, for example, Islamic State or Al-Qaeda. Troy Whitford, a lecturer at the Australian Graduate School of Policy and Security at Charles Sturt University, said the radicalization process of a lone wolf terrorist differs from more well-known terrorist cells, it's less to do about people joining organizations and more about people adopting ideology, he told the ABC, when once upon a time people went and joined a political or social movement, nowadays they won't actually join and go to a meeting, but they'll follow some sort of literature, particularly on the internet, it's more complex to identify because there is often no chatter, there's no network, you've got a lesser chance of being detected, Dr. Whitford said these individuals are almost always self-radicalizing by accessing information in readings, online forums and in manifestos which reinforce their views, self-identifying with a particular type of ideology which often features some sort of call for action, there is no particular group that are doing things, rather, informal, groups that are churning ideas, and, individuals are subscribing to those ideas and calling action themselves, he said, despite all the metadata in laws, recent events demonstrate that a person can go under the radar, very few, lone actors, are actually ideologically, Al one of the past three decades have seen many extreme right-wing terrorist attacks, which are often committed by lone actors, the most notorious being Anders Bering Breivik, who murdered 77 people in Norway in 2011, despite the terminology Technology. Katrina Zorzi, a PhD candidate at Monash University who researches right-wing terrorism, told the ABC that very few lone wolves are ever really acting entirely alone as their motivations often draw from the experiences and ideologies of other people. Lone wolves are always integrated, to some degree, in a broader ideological context, she said. She said even if an individual does not show a level of integration into a larger group with a clear structure, they might take their cues from the strategy of an established group, for example, American terrorist Ted Kaczynski, famously known as the Unabomber, who carried out various attacks in attempt to advance his anti-technology ideology has been referred to as the ideal type of lone wolf, but even his ideology did not form in isolation, despite this image of Kaczynski isolating himself in his cabin in the woods, writing his manifesto and building his own bombs, his ideas and his manifesto still draw on the experiences and ideas of others, and is still part of a genealogy of ideas that inspires admirers and acolytes today, Ms. Zorzi said, even for a true lone wolf, their political ideas don't develop in a vacuum, various studies as well as one report by the New York Times have also highlighted a number of events which were initially seen as lone wolf attacks but were later discovered to be supported by a larger organization such as the Islamic State Group. Being embedded in a larger terrorist organization allows access to logistics, funding and expert training, which increases the likelihood of the terrorist attack being successfully carried out, Ms. Zorzi said, it's very hard for observers and commentators to be able to say with certainty immediately following an act of terrorism if the perpetrator is a lone wolf terrorist, even if it seems to be the case, she said. New Zealand shooting, a bit of a wake-up Calder Whitford said the fast-paced and wide dissemination of ideas granted by the internet has been a double-edged sword, opening the floodgates to global information, but at the same time providing an echo chamber to emphasize extremist ideologies, especially among marginalized people. The feeling of isolation can be a driver towards radicalization, as some may be spurred to commit some form of action to have their voices heard, he said, you've got to take the radical right very seriously, and give them as much emphasis as we would with Islamic terrorism, Dr. Whitford said, it's one of those areas that we tend to laugh at or ignore, and I think this is a bit 
of a wake-up call, Ms. Zorzi said that, fundamentally, terrorism was a political tactic motivated by wanting to bring an idealized vision of the past into the future, such as the vision of an all-white world without immigration. We can see this with the words, imagery and symbols chosen by the Christchurch attacker, in his manifesto, to communicate his politics, which shows elements of traditional extreme right imagery, she said. Topics, Unrest, Conflict and War, Terrorism, Law, Crime and Justice, New Zealand first posted March 20, 2019, 5 hours 40 minutes and 6 seconds.